Hello! This video provides a walkthrough of the latest VMware Cloud Director 10.5 support for NSX Federation. This new capability allows service providers to register a NSX Global Manager instance, providing a common networking and security across all regional local NSX Manager instances within a VMware Cloud Director environment. The feature is provided by data center groups that can include virtual data centers from multiple network fault domains or, in other words, various NSX local managers. With the ability to include up to 16 virtual data centers backed by up to four NSX manager instances in a single data center group, organizations gain enhanced scalable and flexible VMware Cloud Director infrastructure. The VCD provider gateways, which can now be backed by NSX Federation multi-location stretch tier 0 gateway, defines the boundaries of the data center group. Integrating VMware Cloud Director with NSX Federation allows for establishing networking availability zones more easily by distributing the NSX Manager instances across different regional data centers. This enables greater flexibility and scalability, achieving at the same time simplified environment manageability. Let's now deep dive in this new integration capability. The NSX Federation infrastructure has to be set up upfront with a global NSX manager instance and the designated local NSX managers imported as separate locations, three in this example, A, B and C. Global Tier 0 gateway must be created, which stretch the different locations depending on the desired network topology. The separate vCenter instances and the respective local and global NSX managers are added on the VMware Cloud Director. The global NSX manager instance provides information for the onboarded local NSX managers. Then the provider virtual data centers, each backed by its separate local NSX manager Geneve network pool and the necessary organization virtual data centers are created. The next step is to define a provider gateway. This procedure is similar to the standard one, except that we select a global NSX manager and a global tier zero gateway, which stretches across all three locations in this example. One main difference is that IP spaces is the only IP address management system supported for provider gateways backed by a global tier zero gateways. So while we are here, let's define an IP space uplink for this provider gateway. This will get in handy later when organization routed networks are created. To configure a data center group, we switch to the tenant view. The workflow begins by selecting a starting VDC. Then we type the name and enable the switch for a universal group. In the next step, participating VDCs are chosen. VDCs from different NSX domains can be assigned when a universal data center group is defined. At the NSX Global Manager, this universal data center group is realized by creating a global security group. Returning to the VCD, we can create an edge gateway for the universal data center group. Let's first select a provider gateway that stretches only locations A and B. This triggers an error that the assigned provider gateway does not span all the virtual data centers that are part of the data center group, all three locations in this example. The tier 1 gateway that backs the VCD edge span can match or be a subset of the tier 0 gateway. Selecting the correct provider gateway that spans all three locations solves the problem. On the NSX site, we can verify the tier 1 gateway creation that stretches across locations A, B and C. Tier 1 is deployed in primary secondary location fashion. This selection can be managed by VCD by utilizing the edge cluster property on the respective edge gateway. Next, a network can be created. VCD supports only routed networks for universal data center groups. The previously uplink provider gateway IP space is valuable here because the tenant can directly request the network subnet IP address and enable the route advertisement for it. 
On the NSX Global Manager, this VCD routed network is realized as a segment stretched across all three locations. We have a test application consisting of three virtual machines connected to the previously created routed network. We can verify on the Global NSX Manager that the segment has three connected ports. NSX also provides detailed information for the connected virtual machines. Now we test the access to the web server in location A, which also has connectivity to the database in location C. Second, we try the access to the web server in location B. This web server also works as expected and has a database connectivity. As a final task for this demonstration, we can explore the consistent across location security model available for the tenants. The distributed firewall is available for universal data center groups and can be activated. Then the necessary dynamic groups should be created to match the respective virtual machines. VMware Cloud Director supports dynamic group membership using security tags, virtual machines or operation systems names. This procedure creates NSX Global Security Groups for which we can verify the effective members per location in the Global NSX Manager. After the security groups are available, a VCD distributed firewall policy can be created to block the traffic from the location B web server to the location C database. On the Global NSX Manager, we can verify the distributed firewall policy applied to the global security group, which represents the VCD Universal Data Center group. Rechecking the location B web server traffic shows that the database is now inaccessible. This concludes our demonstration for VMware Cloud Director support in NSX Federated environments. Thank you for watching.